were you always with Al Bruno, or like underneath Al Bruno? Do you progress in organized crime? So in them, them circles, you're on record, you get put on record. So when Bruno came home, and uh, I just came home from prison in 91, and uh, he had just come home from prison right around 91. Um, and it was right around that time. He, we were both in and out of prison in the early 90s. And uh, it was right around that time, 91, 92, he uh, put me on record with him. Meaning, like, he uh, he wanted me to be with him um, in the rackets that they do. Meanwhile, you know, loan shark in sports, numbers, uh, you know, all kinds of gambling, uh, you know, legitimate businesses. He wanted me to be on record with him. So, you know, he put me on record with the, uh, our, our boss, and uh, that was in the early 90s. So I was with him, on and off with him, throughout the 90s, up until uh, right around, yeah, for the whole decade, up until the early 2000s, I was on record with him on and off. So in 2003 is when you went up to New York and you became a made guy, right? Yeah, August 11, 2003. You actually were called up to New York for that. Like, can you just walk me through, like, what was the determining factor, you know, of the Genovese family deciding to make you? Well, the Genovese family, Bruno's part of the Genovese family, so you right. can either get made in two parts. You can get made in the Massachusetts faction, which guys do. They, If you're a young guy coming up and they want to make you, you can get made with the faction where you're from. Like, I'm from uh, Springfield, Mass., so I, I could have got made with Springfield, Mass., faction of the Genovese. But you could also get made in directly with a boss in New York, in the New York where the, uh, the family resides in. Um, you can get made there. So this was, this would take, you know, long conversation but just to make it really short i mean this this can go on all different directions but <laughs> right. what really did it like i was a bigger i was a big earner i had a big crew with me and uh and the bottom line is we were capable we were capable of violence we were capable of making lots of money and it got a, it got noticed by the bosses in new york and uh they said uh they wanted me to do a piece of work which is kill a guy and um it was in new york city Right. Uh, so we, me and, uh, two of my friends went down and we shot a guy that was the head of the, uh, union. And this happened like in late April, early May of 2003. So we shot the head of the union was in uh, New York city. I didn't ever even knew like, who the guy was. It was a uh, New York ordered me to do it. Right. And, uh, and then I got made in August of 2003. So because I went down. And because of the build up, I was a, a, a big earner. I had a big crew. We had a vicious crew, and we were capable of murder. We were capable of, and we controlled, pretty much we controlled everything in our area. So uh, I went when I went down there and shot the guy. Uh, I was all set. They, um, they. That's how I got made in New York. Right. I got made in New York, New York, uh, in the Bronx. And it's a big difference than getting made if I was to get made under the faction that it's in Massachusetts because, you know, I'm direct now with bosses that are, that are, the, uh, they control the whole family. So, you know, so when I let you, you know, let, let, if there's a boss in Massachusetts, he's really a captain in the family, but he's, he recognizes a boss in this whole area in Massachusetts, to well, Connecticut, all the way going into Albany. He's a boss. Like if, if they write about him in the newspapers, they call him a boss. If he's recognized by street guys as a boss. But really, he's a captain. So by me getting made in New York, I was, uh, you know, I had that power of being direct with bosses, which gave me the power of being, have more power than uh, any of the guys in my area because I was made directly in New York. But if you're made in Springfield, is that still recognized by the... What, what would be deemed, the, if there is a commission, but would that be recognized by the other families as being a made member? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can't get made with, uh, without getting still the, the, the blessing of New York, of the family. I mean, you still have right. to get, uh, uh, you, you still have to be proposed, you still have to, right. you know, it has okay. to go to the bosses, they have to okay it, but it's a lot different. I mean, you have, you're, you, have you have more connections, national, right, direct Yeah, connections. when it comes to national notoriety, I mean, you get more by you get more by saying yeah I'm I'm uh, with New York saying you know I'm with 106th Street 16th Street uh, with the guys over there I'm with the West Side you know they consider that in New York rather than saying.
say in uh you know I'm I'm with in Massachusetts you know you just get more by uh, on a national scene also and you know the local scene too wherever you go um, you're representing bosses from New York you know you're not representing them in, in the mass so you know you you're pretty much already over uh, have more power than they do around my area. Absolutely. Yeah, that makes sense. And like you said, you, you have more direct resources, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, um, how, how did the ceremony go down? It's basically what everybody sees in the, uh, movies that they portray it. But, uh, you know, you, you, uh, you're not supposed to know that you're getting made. Um, they tell you that you're, uh, meet them at a restaurant. Um, they have to have, a, they want to have a sit down. So, you, but you already know you're getting it straightened out, but they tell you to go to a, a restaurant and from there you leave all your uh, jewelry, phones and everything um, at the restaurant and you get into a car and you go to this sit down. And, um, and that's why like the mafia works so good at killing people because you know, you can get killed and they'll never see your body ever again because you got nothing on you. You're going to a place where they can chop you up in a million pieces. They can do whatever they want to you and you're vulnerable. You don't have no gun. You don't have nothing, no phone, no nothing. But anyways, in this time, I was getting made, so I went to the uh, restaurant, and then we went to the um, apartment building, and, you know, same thing. There's, like, two bosses sitting down, there's two captains there, um, there's a gun and a knife on the table, and you just swear your allegiance, you take an oath, uh, you know, the, the organization that you're joining comes first before anything, um, you know, if your uh, wife is pregnant and we call for you and you have to leave a, your sick wife, a sick mother, a pregnant wife, uh, if we, uh, if we call for you, will you come? You have to come to us. You have to, you have to take an oath that your, the family comes first. If we ask you to kill, uh, they ask you, will you kill? Uh, we ask you to kill. And you say, yes. They say, well, pray the finger that you uh, pull the trigger with. And they prick your finger. Blood comes out. They put it on some paper and uh, they light it on fire and then you repeat after them an oath that you'll never betray this old um there's a gun and knife on the table and uh, it's like a quick thing it's like 10 minutes right um you're done they 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 come up they hug you they kiss you on the cheek they say hello friend because we call each other friends it's like these friends of ours right uh, you're a friend now absolutely you know? and, uh, so they go hello friend and uh they give you a kiss and uh and basically that's it i mean uh, i was uh a 10 minute um 